Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today, the lighting is different because I'm using my ring light because it's just so good. Now, there's going to be a lot of pauses in this video to, uh, to drink liquid. And that liquid is milkshake because, um, you know, we're coming up to the last last hurdles for this channel, you know, got a couple more videos left. Some may say that we're at the last mile. Some may say that we're at eight mile, you know, because his palms are sweaty, his knees weak, arms are heavy, my knees are weaker than most people though, so, you know. Anyway, right, today's video, I am literally just going to be sat here drinking some milkshake, shaking that up, not sponsored, but these are brilliant milkshakes. And I wouldn't mind being sponsored. But, um, yeah, basically, this video, I'm going to just talk because, um, why am I calling this video Milkshake Mile, by the way? Um, well, this links back to when I would do the London Marathon, um, like, before COVID and things. I would do a thing called the Milkshake Mile, and it would basically be the final mile of the five-kilometre race, um, would be me going as fast and as hard as I can, don't take that out of context, um, just to kind of get a milkshake at the end. Um, in London there's this amazing milkshake shop called uh, Shake Shack, I think. Um, brilliant food, brilliant milkshakes, and I would go there at the end of every London Marathon, get myself a celebration food selection thing, um, yeah, that would be what I would do. Now, um, obviously, final mile of the marathon, final mile of this, why not? And since I was calling it the milkshake mile, I thought I might as well do it with a milkshake. This video was not planned at all, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I probably won't even edit this, you know, this will be the only video on the channel that is not edited at all, you know, there won't be an outro music thing, it will just be all my mistakes in this video, so I best hope that I don't say anything I regret. Um, but yeah, basically, the general reason for this video is because I wanted to do like an end of year catch up thing, and I was hoping to do it in a couple of days, uh, closer to the new year. However, um, I'm not going to be able to do the gingerbread video today, that'll probably be tomorrow's thing, so obviously that'll be the, today's the 27th, so the 28th and the 29th and then the 30th, 31st, will be um, other videos that I have planned that I will not mention, and then the first is the live stream, and I needed a video for today, I went to the shops earlier and got milkshake, so I thought, hey, milkshake mile. Um, so yeah, that is why I'm doing this. Um, I just, nah, I can't even be bothered. That's how lazy I'm going to be in today's video. So, um, yeah. This, uh, is my, uh, my final milkshake for the channel. I, I just love how the fact that whenever I struggle to think of a video idea, I ended up just going to food or drink. It's kind of funny, I think. Um, you know, kind of funny how we end up getting so far in and then just resort to food, because that's just the way it be. Um, since, right, got that as well. Uh, I've only just decided to point that out, but yeah, that's annoying me. Um, the cat is being cute as usual. She's asleep though. Oh, no, she's awake. Way. Um, in case you can't tell, I am not used to talking for five minutes straight without having anything planned. You know, with streams and things, whenever I'm doing a stream, I usually have people that I'm talking to. Usually Neo's here. He's not here today. Um... And I have the chat, obviously. Whenever I'm planning on doing a talking video, it's usually summing up the week. 
you know, something like that, or just chilling, you know, I have some things planned, some jokes, some quippy things, but this one, I literally just sat in front of the camera, didn't think of what I was going to say, started speaking in the video, mentioned a couple of things, and then didn't know what to say after. So, um, nice one, Kev. You know what, I might edit this video because I feel like I can say some pretty funny things about myself. Um, you know what, maybe this will be a less edited video. If I can be bothered to edit it still. Um, so yeah, what are my plans? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's Monday. Holy shit, it's Monday. Um, I thought it was going to be... Usually we do, like, the end of week catch-ups um, on a Sunday, but we didn't. So, there. Um, Sunday's video was the uh, Boxing Day uh, things I got vlog. But this week has kind of been chilled. It's been a good week. Um, obviously, didn't really do that much. Um, been kind of busy throughout the week. Um, up until Boxing Day, no, Christmas Eve, where I had to do a bunch of photography, watched A Muppet's Christmas Carol, got ready for Christmas, and then it was Christmas. And then I had a great day, opened presents, built Lego, went and had food, got home, built more Lego, um, and then just chilled with Neo. Uh, he got his new gaming bits, Oculus, so been messing around on that. Beat Saber, right, oh my god, that is so fun. That That is probably the best part about it. He let me have a go on it the other day and uh, played Beat Saber. It's good. <laughs> See, now I can normally edit that out, but you have to listen to me sneeze now. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I always feel like whenever I'm recording these, like, videos where I'm just talking to the camera, I'm never really looking at the camera. I'm always looking, like, off to the side and things, and that's something that I notice while editing normally. But it's kind of difficult with the ring light. It's like... It draws your attention into it, like, it does help keep me focused on the camera and keep me focused on what I'm doing. However, it does blind me. Um, I like it. I did a thirst trap the other day with it. I um, did the ring light trend with an actual ring light that's normal size. And uh, that did well already. I'm happy with that one. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it. I meant to say, uh, this, right? I was thinking about this, and I can't record TikToks on this. It's a good tripod and stuff. It's like a good tripod selfie stick thing. But this tip does not move. It's fixed. I can't turn it. So my phone doesn't fit in it when it's like that. Unless it's sideways, so I can record this kind of video. But I'm kind of screwed for the TikToks. But then again, with TikToks, it's not meant to be great quality, and if need be, I can hold it like that, you know, like that. Woo! Um, which I'll probably end up doing. Uh, so yeah, although it does seem to be pretty sturdy, I am looking forward to using that. So yeah, right, back to summing up the week. Uh, yesterday was Boxing Day, went out and had a meal with my granddad. Um, I had a moment with my granddad and basically just, um, just sat there for a couple of hours, just chilling, having fun, chatting. I did a bit of a magic performance. I learned a new magic trick, which I'll be doing on TikTok soon. I am super happy with how I did it. I, oh, it is amazing. So good. I, I am doing the trick. And I sometimes fool myself with how I do it. It is that good. I uh, hold a special place in my heart. I don't think it's going to quite beat the um, picking your own card out of the deck. I think that's still going to be my favourite card trick. But it is definitely up there now with some of the best. Um, I guess, like, with this trick, it does require a little bit of a setup. So, not much. It's... A couple of bits. Um, I won't go into it. Obviously, don't want to reveal the secret. But it's definitely one that 
you can easily and quickly set it up while the spectator is watching. But compared to a trick that you don't need any setup for, you literally just need to do everything in front of the spectator and they will pick their card out. That is... And their reactions are usually pretty good. Um, but yeah, this, this new trick is good. And I'm looking forward to doing some some things with it. Ooh, have to wait and see. However, right. I remember um, Unus Anus, they did a video where it was like unedited. I can't remember exactly what it was. Was it? I think it was literally just this video was unedited. Um, but yeah. I'm going to be doing something similar with this one, except that's not the main point. This is going to be the milkshake mile, where I haven't drunk milkshake for a lot of it. Um, haven't got much left, so you know we'll go until I finish this last bit. Ooh, that's not much. Um, so yeah, did that uh, Boxing Day, came home after having dinner and opening more presents, had the Lego building uh, while at Grandad's, built the Mandalorian and then lost the child. Greatest saying ever, by the way. I lost the child. Um, last night, right, I had a bit of a panic attack. I, uh, not an actual panic attack, but I lost my earphones, like, right before going to bed, and I, I actually got, like, worried about it, because I didn't use them with the child, like, when I lost the child, so I thought I'd left both things, and I didn't know what else I'd left without realising, which was kind of annoying. I, like, it, it did get to me. I uh, was determined to find them, and I eventually found them in my school bag, in my college bag. Speaking of which, right, I'm probably going to end this video here um, and finish this last bit of drink, because I've got to pack, uh, pack my bag, and then um, I'm going to my nads. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed me sitting in front of a camera for... 12 to 13 minutes, drinking milkshake and chilling. With plenty of awkward pauses for when I'm slurping that up. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all of that usual stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.